Hi guys, um, I'm on the Stanley uh, Wood Plane Restoration site on Facebook and a chap recently posted up on there asking how to polish these adjustment wheels uh, and some of the answers, oh, I'm deliberately off camera by the way because I'm going to laugh and I don't want you to see me laughing because I, I don't mean to be rude and I'm not disrespecting anyone and I certainly don't mean to offend anyone but some of the answers what come up to polish these up were mind blowing should we say um, there's certain lotions and potions on there so, some people recommend dunking these in ketchup can I please point out this is a lump of brass it's not a french fry yes I'm not saying that ketchup won't work and I'm sure the vinegar and the ketchup will work wonders on this, but it's not French fry, right? it's a bit of a plain. Uh, besides, I have an allergy to tomatoes, so um, I'm not really into that at all. Other people talk about marinating them in Coca-Cola. Some have said uh, uh, vinegar and lemon. Uh, I'm not saying it won't work. However, it's a lump of brass, it's not a potato salad or anything, but you can use what you want. And the most funny one, what I've seen, I, I, and I believe it'd work, someone suggested dunking in a bucket of piss. <laughs> I'm not saying it won't work, and I'm sure it would. However, how do you explain visitors to your workshop, you have a bucket of piss sitting in the corner with a nice brass hardware soaking away in it. I'm not saying it won't work. Please don't, please don't think I'm not in it at all. However, we're in uh, modern times now. We're not in the Middle Ages. I'm sure there's better ways to polish brass than sticking it in piss, vinegar, ketchup, and all the rest. Right, we're all woodworkers, and we all use tools. And sort of a good maxim to go by is use the right tool for the job. Uh, you wouldn't sharpen a screwdriver and use it as a chisel unless you're an absolute lunatic. Right, I hope the camera picks this up. This says Brasso. It, it does what it says on the tin. Guess what? It says metal polish wadden for brass, copper, stainless steel and chrome. It's purposely designed to polish brass. It does exactly what it says on the tin. I'm just going to demonstrate my method. I'm not saying any other methods are right or wrong. If you want to use a wire wheel, I would I would suggest caution. I really would. The Nerlin, what you get on uh, these adjustment wheels, if you're not careful, brass wheel will remove it. Same with any right, and this is off a, a weeder number four, and it's got cut on and off on there. Um, if you start using abrasives and stuff on that, it will remove it in a heartbeat if you're not careful. Right, all you'll need for my method is do, do, do. need a piece of clean cloth such as this. A wooden dowel, however you can use a screw, you can use anything, and all you do is pop it in your adjustment lever like that, keep going until it's nice and tight so it doesn't ping off anywhere. You don't need any wire wheels, you don't need uh, laves or anything special at all. I'm assuming, as we're all woodwork, as most of us will have a drill in here, the most Luddite of uh, woodworkers who are traditional hand tools only will have an electric drill hid somewhere. All you need to do is chuck this little bad boy in here, spin it up, lock it down. I'm just going to put some rubs <coughs> off. It's a bit mucky, I'm not going to deny that. But, oops. Yeah. One of the comments was to use Autosol 
or Duraglit, both of those will work and I have used them on really really badly encrusted stuff uh, they, they will work but again using what it says on the tin right little wad tiny wad of Brasso stick it in there and there we go help if I remember to chuck it in the drill properly wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. Probably have a comedy moment on my channel if you don't something sure. Right. Usually, usually this takes me about 30 seconds to polish it up but Right, get it nice and black. Get it fixed in the linen. Put that to the side. Clean cloth. to spin. This is just a demonstration. All right, there we go. Nice and shiny. Obviously, you can spend a bit more time there. I'm sort of trying to do this on the fly, on the uh, just to demonstrate. However, there you go. Nice and shiny. Didn't take forever. Just a quick one for doing that brass barrel nuts. You keep to like the rod sack. Oops. Chuck those in. Brasso. and repeat with clean cloth. And just get the little in the centre of it. Let's punish that out. And there we are. 
hope you enjoyed it. This, this is only a tongue-in-cheek video. Honestly, guys, I'm not taking the mickey out of anyone. It, it's just trying to save people time and effort and stuff. You can use whatever method you want. I've just shown you mine. Uh, you know, right tool for the job type thing. You wouldn't, I don't know, you wouldn't use a chisel to undo your lever cap, or maybe you would, I don't know, it would work, but I'm a firm believer in using right tools for the job. Brasso does what it says on the tin. No, I'm not sponsored by them. I wish I was. Have an excellent day, folks. Enjoy.